Hi. How was your trip to Jamaica? Oh, it was amazing. I had such a good time. Oh, and what country would you like to visit next? Singapore, for sure. Fondest memories from your childhood and living in the north? Hmm. Well, the child, my mom used to beat me so much. So I can't really say I had really fun childhood memories. But living in the north, eating masa and sauce for breakfast, mm, that was so good. And then eating a lot of suya. I suya from the north imagine. is the best. Which of your sisters would you say you're closest to? Okay, we're four girls and we're all extremely closely knit. So I can't say I'm close to one. All four of us are close to each other. Okay, what did you want to be growing up? <laughs> a doctor. No way. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best piece of advice ever received from your mom? Um, she says to me, be yourself and don't stress. Whatever is yours will come to you. Hmm, and it's true. Words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the most romantic thing someone has ever done for you? Well, guys, I would absolutely love to pass on that question. <laughs> no? Why? Because it's just private. Oh, like okay. Is there a special someone in your life? Yes, there is. And he is amazing. Tall, dark and handsome. Okay. <laughs> Sharon, what is your dream acting role? Um, I want to play a mother. I just haven't acted as a mom. And it's something that I would love to really, really do. All right, I'm looking forward to that. One fashion item every girl should have. A lovely wig. <laughs> Describe <laughs> your first acting experience in one word. <laughs> Horrible. I had no clue what I was doing. Sharon, how would your friends describe you in three words? Playful. Caring. <laughs> Most used emoji. Rolling eyes. Best TV show you're watching right now? The Handmaid's Tale. I love that. What would you say has been the biggest moment in your career so far? Um, playing lead in Olotere the movie. In Olotere the movie. Alright. If you were to give up two things, which would it be? Wigs, makeup, social media or food? Girl, social media can go. Uh, makeup can go, but wigs and food? Nah. <laughs> Sharon, how long have you ever gone without your phone? I'd say five hours. Would you say your style reflects your personality? No, because I love looking sexy, but in reality, I'm such a playful person, so nah. Which actress, living or dead, do you aspire to be like? I love Gabriela Union so much. And I love Mercy Johnson. I like the fact that she has been able to balance out marriage, a fantastic career, and other side businesses. I just really, really love her. So both of them, I love them so much. Favorite place to hang out in Lagos? Atmosphere with Top Who is your celebrity crush, Sharon? Guy. It used to be Idris Elba, but then now he's married, so I kind of like dumped him in my head. <laughs> um, you know what? Please, I don't have. Somebody's okay. going to watch this interview. <laughs> As a 90s baby, what yeah. 90s song can you never get tired of? The boy is mine. Even though my mom beat me because of that song, when I was supposed to do my assignments, and I was there dancing and doing like this, because that brand used to do it a lot that year. The weirdest thing a guy has said or done to impress you? Hmm. The guy said that he doesn't want to treat me like how other guys treat me, like a celebrity. He's going to treat me like a normal, regular human being. So he takes me on a date, orders a gin and tonic, and basically forces me to drink. He doesn't allow me to order anything on the menu. Sorry, how's that treating you different? Fam. <laughs> Alright, child. Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram? Instagram. Why the preference? Because Instagram just allows you to showcase a certain kind of lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. So give us two tips to taking the best picture for Instagram. Fantastic natural lighting and a good camera phone. Alright. In order of importance, how would you like your ideal man? Handsome, wealthy, God-fearing, or faithful? God-fearing. Wealthy, mm, faithful, extremely faithful, <laughs> handsome, I don't really care. He's just, just be dark. <laughs> Alright, what movie old on you do you wish you made a cameo in? Pride and Prejudice. Like, that movie is from heaven. And I wish I played the role that Kira Knightley played. I just really love that movie so much. Where would you like to go on the first date? Anywhere, anywhere out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdest rumor you have heard about yourself? That I'm proud. Are I'm, you proud? No. At all. Oh. Not trying to blow my own horn or none of that, but no, no. <laughs> Alright, Sharon, have you ever gotten revenge on anyone? Nah, there's too much love in my heart. On average, how long does it take you to get ready for an event? Hmm, let's say about four hours. 
Okay. <laughs> what is one question you wish people would stop asking you? When am I getting married? Um, if I may ask, when are you getting married? Sooner than you think. Do we get invited <laughs> in Danny? Sips. My juice. Does that mean no? Nanny's my family, so definitely. You guys probably have an exclusive. <laughs> All right, thanks for that in advance. <laughs> Funniest DM you have ever received. Hmm. So when I was in Jamaica, I put up a picture of me wearing my bikini, and someone sends me a DM saying, ah, sister, these signs that you're wearing does not glorify the Lord. Um, please, end time is, you know, end, the end time is near. What was your response, please? I don't know if I asked her if I was supposed to wear booba and you were to the beach because, you know. And I just said to her that I'm a child of God. I'm just because I'm wearing a bikini doesn't mean that God will love me less. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, Sharon. What is one thing people will be surprised to know about you? Sad, weird. But I love eating swallow. Like, I can eat swallow for breakfast. I actually eat swallow for breakfast. Really? What's your favorite swallow? <laughs> Okra soup with a lot of pepper. All right, Sharon, what is one cause that is dear to your heart? Um, definitely the uneducated girl child. Um, it's something I'm extremely passionate about and I'm trying to work on. I believe that just because you're not educated doesn't mean that you don't have a valid skill set that can still give you money, mm. money that you can still use to educate yourself. Mm. So I'm very passionate about that. All right. Sharon, your idea of fun includes eating, sleeping and chilling with my loved one. Aww. What is one thing you've always wanted to do but too scared to try? <sighs> Bungee jumping. And I had a chance to do it in Jamaica, but I... I <laughs> All right. <laughs> my twist. <laughs> Last question, Sharon. If yeah. your life was a hashtag, what would it be? Hashtag happy. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Thank you. Mwah. Thank <music> you.